Morning everyone, and another day of some free tips from Craig Donaldson at Ingleby Barwick Golf Academy. Uh, we're going to talk about today, with our little demonstration here on the ground, the white line, 12 o'clock, okay? So that's our ball to target line, okay? The yellow line, okay, almost looking out towards 2 o'clock, okay, that's going to be a swing path line. The blue line, the dark blue line, pointing over towards 10 o'clock again is another swing path line and then in the middle we've got a pink line at sort of one o'clock and a light blue line at 11 o'clock and there are our face at angles okay so when we're playing our golf shots okay if we set up to play a shot okay if we imagine swinging now our club on the yellow line okay so if I swing the club on the level on the yellow line with the club face pointing straight down so basically at right angles can you get that in Liz? so the, the club there is at right angles to the yellow line you put her because you haven't got your oh yeah sorry I'm... <laughs> <coughs> my new golf club for today i've got a putter okay so again for those that have been watching the videos earlier on my golf clubs are still at ingleby so again i'm having to get by with a putter and a fairway wood today I think a putter is more applicable so if we were playing our shots and we positioned our club face aiming at right angles 90 degrees to the yellow line and I swung on that path I would hit the ball straight down that yellow line okay so that in golf terms we would call a push okay so if I think about now I'm going to still want to swing on that yellow line but I'm going to make my face angle now look at the red line, at uh, the pink line. Okay, so if I swung back and hit at that line, I would actually produce a draw spin shot. So, again, you guys, golfers out there that slice the ball, again, if we start having a little look at changing our swing path and our face angle, we might be able to reduce our slice that we're getting on the golf ball. Again, for those that do slice, okay. at right angles again and I swung up and down that blue line I'm going to create what we call a pull shot okay so that's a ball that just goes straight left okay the slicers the faders out there if we wanted to fade the ball back to the target if we set our club face almost at right angles to the to the light blue line but then we still swung on the blue one what we did back to create would be just a little bit of a fade that would come back to the target okay so if we can look at changing our swing path and our face angle we can start controlling our ball flight and our shape to our shots okay again if we wanted to hit a nice straight shot which is one of the hardest shots in golf to hit if we think about it we've got a swing in an arc that's coming around with our club face striking facing along the white line to then rotate around for it to go nice and straight so recapping what we've talked about today okay the club path okay so blue or yellow okay is going to determine whether the ball starts to the left or to the right if we want to bring the ball back from the right then if we turned our club face in slightly so that it's aiming down the pink line that would produce a draw shot that would bring the ball from the right back towards the left towards the target so a little hole there at the, at the end if we were slicing it okay if we turned our face a little bit more to the right yeah we'd end up producing a shot that would produce a fade that would bring it back to the target okay so be careful that we get our path and face interaction correct to produce the correct flight more tips coming soon thank you stay safe thanks bye